Greetings! Welcome to the magical land of Jing Jang Ju Jong and today I'm going to be making a little ladybird balloon. It's a very cute balloon and it's a little bracelet as well. So jewellery and balloons, what's not to love? Right then, let's get going. So you've got your 260, pump in a little bit of air. You don't need much. Look, I've got absolutely loads left there. It's not even half filled. Tie a knot. Pop it. Boink. And this is the head. So twist away from you. One twist. And then you're going to bring the nozzle with the first twist. So, so just pull it and twist it round. A little bit like a pinch twist. Okay, and you will end up with that. Now we're going to do four feet. So they don't have to be as big as the head, but it doesn't matter. Remember, twisting away from you all the time. So it's one. Don't let go with the first one. Two. Three. Try and get them all the same size. Four. Yeah, pretty, that's pretty much okay. So they're about the size of, I don't know, two fingers. That's just a little bit left. Now, they're the legs. So just bring them back on each other like that. And we're going to twist these two together right here. So pull apart slightly, twist round, and you've got that. So now you've got your head, you've got your legs, you're going to make the body. So the body is going to be the same length as the legs. So twist off a section that's about the same length, doesn't matter if it's a bit more. And then we're going to twist it and just put it between its back two legs. If you're really clever, you can break it, break a little bit off and let the air out. But I can't do that, so I'm just going to make a little hole with my scissors. <laughs> let the air come out so that I am left just with the dangly bits. And I'm going to tie a knot at the end of that body bubble. Like that, okay? So now I'm going to feed this through the legs. So the back two legs, I'm going to just pass it through and pull until it's nice and tight like that. So you're left with that. And then what I'm going to do, because this is a bracelet, we're going to tie this round the head. So just one knot will probably do. And pull. There we are. Pop it on your hand. And let's add some features. Now you can be as creative as you like, or you can keep it nice and simple. Whoop. <laughs> and a uh, line at the back, meow, and dots. There you go, symbols. It's so cute and the kids, they absolutely love it. Hello. And you can do them in all sorts of different colors. They go really nice with the butterfly that I do as well. Now, if you want a variation on a the theme, you can also do the turtle. So let's get a bit of green or whatever color you want to do really. Again, I've like half filled it or even less. Tie a knot, burp it, whoop. do a head. Tie in the nozzle to that first twist. Now we're going to do four legs, ready? Or feet, one. Twisting away from myself. Two. Three. And four. Bend it back on itself. Twist it round where the neck is. Make a body. Squeeze. Hold it. Snip the end. I'm sure you're vastly more professional than I am and can, don't need the scissors. Hi. So you got your little body. We're going to pass that through. Pass it over the back and in between those legs and pull through. Try not to make him look as though he's got hemorrhoids. Right, there we go. 
and then tie it around the neck. But all if you want. You can also cut off that first little bit there, little spare bit. And dispose off safely. So that's your turtle body. And just to make him look a bit more like a turtle, again. And this time, oops. Bit wibbly wobbly, I'm sure he'll do a better job than that. And then just draw a line out. This is the simplest way. If you've got loads of time, you could also do some more of these. Ah, how cute is that? A little turtle for you there. Do you know any other variations on this theme? If you do, write me in the comments below. Thanks for joining me. See you guys. Bye-bye.